Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback and I always make sure I respond to every comment that I get. And thank you once again for the love and support and come and see about my channel today. And, and if you see, if you resonate with my video and you enjoy what you heard, please give me a big thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. And much love to you once again. And for my returning subs, thank you. What's up fam? Thank you so much for the love and support. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you once again for the love and support. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Why do a Hayoka's empath, Hayoka empath, attract narcissistic people, narcissistic energy? It's just something very special about us, it's very unique that other people can see and yet they cannot put their finger on it. And it's just like, if you ever notice, especially with you being in an awakening site or awakening phase or whatever, um, you might have this aura about you that attracts attract you more people than you usually get. And it's just sometimes if you're good at it, but it's a scary thing when you're going through it and you don't know what you're doing, going through or you don't know who you're dealing with. And it's a scary thing if you have never came across a narcissistic person because you don't know what to look for because they're charming. Um, they, everything is too good to be true until you meet them and then you finally hear that snap. And it's just like with us, is when somebody sees something very special in you and they already know they're narcissistic people or probably in denial about it being that way too but it's just something about you that triggers them that makes them want to break it down in some kind of weird way and you know I always had to just look in on it because it was just the fact is my father my adopted father he was a narcissistic person, the person that I dealt with for so many years, he was a narcissistic person, and it's just like, when they see, the fact is, you know, what hey, the empath, especially any kind of empath, we go through so many hard things, and when you're able to mirror the fact of your strength, you'll notice that they'll try to go ahead and break you down more and more and more, and it, it, it just there's something very special about us that we always try to see the good in people and that's the weakest thing about us I think when it when it comes to that because it's not really a weak point for us but it's just the fact is we always try to find the good in people and we feel that sometimes they're able to change and there's sometimes there can be narcissistic people that can change if they really want it to, but then sometimes it's probably hard to break that chain if it's passed down from generation to generation. Because it's just like, you know, dealing with the person I dealt with, you know, I had to ask about family history and stuff like that, and, you know, what had happened during their childhood. Then I'm just like, oh, okay, this is why I figured this out. And it's just, you know, my adopted father, his father was the same way with him. So he lashed that out on, on you, I mean, on me. And I always wondered, I don't know if you ever wondered that, it's just like if you, you know, if you know that you've been through any kind of abuse. And it's like I had to catch myself at times because with me growing up and having my children young, I started mirroring the things that I had seen when I was younger. And I had to really break that, especially when my children got older, because the fact is, it's just a, a big strain on our family right now when it's just me and my children. So it's just like you have to break that cycle. You have to be able to break it and just know when um, when it's around when you meet people. Because it's like now, since I've dealt with so much trauma, it's like I'm able to pinpoint it. It's like when people come around me and it, it's just like if they're flirtatious or whatever, I can kind of feel it now. And it's just like I'll break it off. 
and it's just like if you have been through that thing you, you have been through that phase where you have attracted people and it doesn't have to be just a significant other it could be a friend and I've had you know so called friends that are like that which turned out to not be friends um, you can have co-workers that way family members that way and it can be a, a husband it can be a wife you know men can go through it too and, it, and it's just like when you're going through this, it's bad enough as it is, you know, we're already learning and dealing with things the hard way. And then you attract the fact that you attract, you know, narcissistic people. And it seems like they're, they're trying to learn off of us, but it's like they're mooching. And I notice a lot since I've been doing these videos, there's a lot of people that are t been talking about narcissistic people that they dealt with, you know, and it. It could be best friends. It could be, you know, the boyfriends and stuff like that. And I've even had it, you know, deal with it myself. And it's just like when they see something that's so special, they try to break that for some odd reason. I'm still doing research on this. So, you know, I I'm just doing this as I go. And it's, it's just reading in, in on it and going through my own experience. It just seems like when they see... That there is something very special about you that they really don't know. They find that intriguing and they're drawn to that. And then when they see, you know, and they get to know you, they try to, it seems like they try to break down and prey on the things that you either love the most or you fear the most. And it's just like they prey upon that because it's just like they already have their weaknesses at that time and they try to use it against you. So it's just like for us, we have to be able to break that cycle and be able to recognize it before, it, you know, the train actually collides. So I'm not really trying to hold you up today. You know, if you want to go ahead and put your input on it. And, you know, I just noticed that I've been, you know, since I've been doing these Heyoka videos, I've been getting a lot of comments like that. And a lot of them are very, I mean, all of them are very dear to me, but there's been some that has been pulling my heartstrings lately where people have been opening themselves up and be able to tell your journey. And it's just like, I, I don't judge anybody. You know, if you feel free that you want to open up and even if you want to go ahead and give, send me a private message if you don't feel comfortable enough to um, want to put it on my uh, comment section, that's also... Um, up to you if you want to um and i really appreciate all the comments i'm getting uh they're very encouraging and they're very inspiring to me to make me keep wanting to do these videos and make me want to do more research and know more and more about Hayoka and past because this is like i said before this is very new to me so i'm going off the experiences that i have that i can basically resonate with the characteristics they have put up for Heoka Empath, so I'm just, like I said, I'm learning this as I go along with you, and me healing up, upon the childhood going towards an adult trauma that, you know, I'm healing from and, you know, growing from and putting my videos out here to let you know my experience on the things that I've had to deal with and continue to deal with, but it, it really has strengthened me, and I really just feel like well, hey, being a Hayoka is like it, it feels like an honor not like a privilege but you know you know it doesn't seem like a privilege but it just seems like an honor to be able to do that because there's a lot of people that can go through some stuff like like when we go through it's just like the stories I've been hearing it's just like you know it, it's like once my hears my story like dad she really got through all this and she's not crazy she didn't fall off a rocker she didn't kill anybody she didn't kill herself and i just see so many people that can relate to the things that i'm going through and they're going through and they're able to push on and just like you know i know what i'm here for and i finally can come up with a name for it and, you know, and that's a blessing to be able to help people move on and be able to know this is who I am. This is what I do. You know, you're able to go through the depths of treachery, <laughs> you know, the worst kind of thing that you would just quiver just to give your, your enemy. And you're able to, you know, prevail against that, which is a true blessing. So you'll be able to, you know, tell your story to be able to help the next person. So I'm not trying to hold you up today. Please like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell. 
Um, so you know what I'm about to upload my next video. You can drop me a line or two and even give me a private message if you feel free. And I hope you have a blessed one. You pray for me and I will keep you in my prayers as also. And tonight I was listening to the three hours of best romantic relaxing music called uh, Wonderful, P Wonderful Piano. And I will go ahead and put it in the description down below. And I hope everybody has a blessed week and had a safe weekend and enjoyed their weekend. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.